Natalie Baumgartner. I am in one of our blueberry trials where we have a lot of different cultivars here on evaluation. And we very accidentally this summer had a stress trial that was placed on these blueberries because the irrigation system in this plot was not working for a period of several months. And quite unintentionally, we really put these plants under a lot of stress. You hear us talk about why rabbit eye blueberries might be a great option for home growers as they begin, but maybe you think that we're exaggerating some of those differences. And so I just wanted to show you a little bit of these differences. This is Tiff Blue back here. It is one of the oldest cultivars of rabbit eye and one that you may see a lot. And it did experience stress during that period of time where the irrigation wasn't working, but it has come through that. We see some new growth. This is a plant that Yes, this year's yield wasn't great, but it should be in good shape going into next year. This is a plant that is a northern high bush. And so this, these are going to be our cultivars that have higher chilling and they're really more genetics that are native to the Northeast. And I don't really have to say too much. A picture is worth a thousand words here. This is a plant that may or may not come through this winter alive for next spring. And it will definitely take a long time to recover if it does come through this stress. This is a southern high bush blueberry plant and while it certainly has experienced some stress it has come through it better than its northern high bush uh, counterpart. Now we do have some other stressed southern high bush in these plots but as a general statement they look better than the northern high bush do. It's actually already we can see some buds being ready to be uh, set for next year so this is the time of year that these plants are preparing uh, for next year and we do have the irrigation running now so hopefully we'll get these plants in better shape to um, to perform no well next year but what they've experienced is different across these three types and it's something that you want to keep in mind as you select blueberry cultivars and types for your own home growing area.